السلام علیکم عید مبارک ٹو آل آف مائی سبسکرائبرس مے گاڈ برنگ مور ہیپینیس ٹو یو پیپل ایف یو آر اینی ویئر اگین عید مبارک لیٹ اسٹارٹ گائز ٹوڈے این دس ویڈیو آئی ول ڈسکس سم امپورٹینٹ ٹپس اینڈ گائڈ لائنس فار سول سائٹ انجینئر اینڈ ایوری سول سائٹ انجینئر شوڈ بی ریمبر دیس پوائنٹس وچ آئی ایم ٹیلنگ یو بیکاز اٹ کین ہیلپ یو on construction site or maybe someone asked from you about these points which I'm telling you in this video. Let's start guys. The topic is civil site engineers must know what these points. The first one. Many students they are telling me sir what is a dead load? What is dead load? Guys dead load means self weight of structure. Dead load means self weight of structure not the other loads just self weight of structure so self weight of structure you can get from the volume of structure and from that material in which you made the structure so that is called dead load what is the dead load of the structure means self load of of the structure okay this is the first one second dl so in structure drawing you can see dl is equal 12 inches or 16 inches or 50d or 60d etc so dl stand for development length what is development length guys you can see this is the beam longitudinal bars and beam so here guys this steel bar is going to the downside and the downside steel bar is going to the upward side so this length is called development length so don't forget dl stand for development length the third one sand which we are using in concrete or in mortar sand having moisture content more than five percent should not be used for the concrete mix if the moisture content is sorry someone is calling me if the moisture content for the sand is more than five percent should not be used for concrete mix otherwise you will face the problem what are the problems seepage in a building so you can't control if the building completed okay the fourth one grade of concrete is denoted what is grade of concrete so it's denoted as i told you in many videos okay so grade of concrete denoted cement sand and aggregate for example m20 means the ratio of m20 is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 where one is cement and one uh, 1.5 is sand and 3 is aggregate okay so grade of concrete is denoted cement sand and aggregate okay the fifth one guys also very important this is the reference of astm this is referred astm referred what okay because astm stand for american society for testing material so you can get more informations from the astm this is a company american society for testing material which can give you all the uh, testing materials its strength etc okay related with the material so this is the astm abbreviation okay the sixth one guys the minimum thickness of the slab should be 0. Point, not less than 0. 0.125 meter or 125 mm thickness of the slab thickness this 0. 0.125 meter thickness of the slab should not be less than 0. 1 to 5 this is the minimum thickness slab okay what's happened again again starting uh, someone called me so therefore everything is wrong with me okay rmc so br uh, we should bring rmc for the project for the construction what is rmc guys rmc stand for ready mix concrete where we can use the ready mix concrete so we bring ready mix concrete from the factory 
and where we should bring our MC, where we have the huge project and we need the huge amount of concrete. So for that, we require the ready mix concrete because we cannot make a concrete on the construction site. So we bring the RMC, okay, in uh, uh, by transportation, okay. So uh, the factory tran uh, transfer the RMC concrete to the site that is called RMC and when we need the huge amount of concrete so there we required ready mix concrete to bring for site the eighth one cement more than three months this is the sample thing cement more than three months old cannot be used in building construction otherwise you cannot get the full strength of concrete because the maximum time of concrete is three months or 90 days so within 90 days you should use the concrete otherwise it become expired so expired cement should not be used in building construction right ninth the curing period of period time of rcc is 28 days so the curing period of rcc reinforced cement concrete is 28 days that's why because we can get the full strength you can say 99 99% uh, strength you can get after 28 days for from rcc or rcc okay so therefore the curing period of rcc is 28 days the last one c slash c you can see it in structure drying or in any drying especially for steel reinforcement details c slash c for example as you can see this is the footing reinforcement so here we can see this is this is or this is this is means c slash c means or stand for center to center distance so for example six inches c slash c so means the distance between two steel bar is or center to center distance is six inches or nine inches okay so this is the important points and guidelines for civil site engineer so you must no. So guys, if you have any question about this video, so you can comments, I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.